Easy team, Tuesday night, the sun is blazing on me. Um, third time I've seen it this year, which is really good. Um, it's been a gorgeous day today, up to 14 degrees. The wind's fucking pushing in lovely. Um, so yeah, I couldn't help myself, I had to come. Um, tomorrow night's a bit shitty, isn't it? So I thought, no, tonight's the night. Um, so anyway, not a lot's been happening. To be fair, I don't know whether you've been following my blogs or whatever. They've been a bit poor of late, haven't they? Fucking hell. I haven't really had much to talk about. Um, had the ump a lot. Um, and I think that sort of reflected that a bit, to be fair. Fucking cars fucking me off and fucking this and that and the rest of it. Um, but anyway, we're on the up now. Back to happy me. Um, so I thought I'd crack the camera out and, um, and have a catch up. So yeah, I've had three months on Willow with fuck all. Um, been a right old slog. I mean, God knows where they go in the winter. I think they all go up the inlet pipe. It's about fucking 200 yards long. I reckon they just back up it. Yeah, get in here, boys. Out the fucking wind. Um, and then 1st of April, they all fucking come back out. That's the only way I can put it, put it down to. Because God knows where they go. Um, I even had the boat out. Still couldn't find them. Um, but anyway, what was it? Two weeks ago, I had my first run, didn't I? Um, took me by surprise. Uh, well, they all take me by surprise, to be fair, because I'm not expecting anything. Um, I grabbed hold of it, got him in, ready for the net. He had one last lunge. Um, twang it come, the lead limb, he smacked me in the face. Um, yeah, I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Um, I nearly did cry. And then laughed about it, that would have been the way forward. And then last week, last Saturday, I was out fishing my same spot. Um, I was pretty unlucky, to be fair. I was fishing locked up to the uh, the bushes, which I always do. Um, I had a run. I was out there like a flash. Well, I had a, didn't have a run, did I? I had a fucking pull, a puller. Um, I ran out there. He's obviously dropped the lead. He's come up in the water straight into the bushes. That's never happened to me down here before. Um, so he was in the bushes for a couple of seconds. When he was like, oh, you bastard. I gave him nothing. I got him out of the bushes. I was like, yeah. He chucked a left. Um, like the old one four two to Bedford, and about three seconds later, off he come. Um, another one that was fucking hard going, to be fair. Straight in the hook. I haven't had a hook straightened for, I don't know when the last time a hook straightened, so proper unlucky. Um, occupational hazard, I suppose, isn't it? So, anyway, I've jumped down tonight, I'm fishing the point, the wind's been pushing in here lovely. The reeds. A bit, look at the state of this fucking swim look before I start. It's fucking devastation. There's fucking shit everywhere. Um, I have to sort this out. Because um, there's no way they're going to run with a swim looking like that. Um, so anyway, the reeds have been bending like fucking Beckham since I got here. Um, but I don't fish through. Normally you'd fish through his side. But it's all a bit tight and a bit fucking awkward. So I've got one to the reeds. Um, to the corner of the weed, reeds over there. One in the middle of the bay. And then the other one towards the other set of reeds which is over. Where the fuck are we? Over there somewhere. So, you know, and then scattered about half a kilo with the throwing stick in between the two. Um, and they're proper scattered. Oh, yeah, they're proper scattered when I use a throwing stick. Um, so, anyway, hopefully they'll be that scattered. They'll be moving in between, moving about. Um, and hopefully tonight is the one that I'll get a tug and I'll fucking land it. Because, uh, yeah, proper destroying me this place at the minute. Um, big high last year to a fucking massive low. Um, but still, I'm getting the bites, so, you know, I can't grumble too much. I've just got to uh, sort myself out and um, make the most of my opportunities instead of bowling it up. Um, so anyway, this one, a little bit more light-hearted. Um, I thought I'd run through the V2 Brolly, because um, there's loads of questions in it. Is it any good? What's it like? Blah, blah, blah. Well, here it is, so I'm going to plant this down. Um, where are we? I'll plant it down and just pick it up. So anyway, this is the V2 Brolly. Um, I had the old version, um, which is all well and good. It was, it was a great little Brolly. Didn't have a front, and when you're an old fucker like me, um, you feel the cold, so I shifted that on and just used the V2. Um, so this is the new one. It's got a nice new label on it. Look. The old one didn't have that. Fucking hell, coming up in the world. Um, so yeah, this is the new one. It's got a new divide composite block. Plastic block. Um, it's got holes in it. It's got go faster fucking holes in it. Um, as you can see, mine's covered in shit where I stuffed it in the mud earlier. Um, 
So yeah, newly devised composite block, um, covered in turd. Um, this is the bit where I had the problem with last one. It had like a little Allen key bolt going through there. Third session, pulled it round, snap. That was at Mullard. Um, I had used my landing net pole to fucking hold it up for the session. Um, good job I didn't catch anything because that would have been interesting. Um, so yeah, new devised block. Um, not too sure if it's the same material. Looks like the same material, just a different colour. Um, the poles on the old one had little plastic inserts in these. Um, yeah, this is fucking awkward. Had little plastic inserts in these. Um, these are different. They're like there's like a little groove there look can you see it there's a little groove in there um so the poles don't twist and what the little grooves do is they make it really easy to snap them bastard elastics don't they oh yeah so anyway you pop them in the grooves um all five of them they're going really easy you fan it round wipe the dirt off um pull it up lock it in Grab hold of your tension strap. Jobs are good and that's that formed. Um, just pan that down a bit. Um, so that's it up, really easy. Um, quite a lot of room in it to be fair, like the old one. I mean, my bed's the oval, so you can push it back a bit further. But you've got a good couple of foot in front of you to put all your fucking junk in that you carry around. Um, so that's it really, get a zip on front with this one. Zips on really easy. Um, again, nice and light. Um, it's actually a knot in the tension strap. I mean, how does this shit happen? How do you get a knot in it? I mean, it's a bit like the plugs at home, isn't it? You plug them in, you sort it out, you don't touch them. And then the next time you look at them, it's like the plug wire monster fucking just fucks them all in knots. That's what's happened there. That's the, that's the, um, the tension strap monster's got hold of that one. Uh, I'll have to sort that out. Um, so anyway, where was I? I can't remember. All got a bit fucking carried away there, didn't I? Um, so anyway, that's it up. It comes with a front, which is really easy. Um, standard front, a um, bit like the V2. It's got a fucking mozzie mesh front. The sides are just plain. Um, comes with an optional ground sheet, if you want a ground sheet. I don't use a ground sheet with a brolly. So I can't really comment about condensation because it wouldn't really be a fair test. But my head was wet when I sat up the other morning. Um, but then, you know, the ground's wet. There's lots of heavy breathing in going in here where I'm fucking, you know, worrying if they're going to run or not. Um, so, yeah, what else is there? Optional electric is storm poles. I mean, what I can't just come with it, I don't know. Um, as you can see, third time it's been up, there's a nice little chip on the old pole. You know, perhaps they could uh, supply a touch up pen or something. That, that'd go down well. But no, overall, Quality bit of kit, I like it. Um, I ain't gonna go into the price, you'll know how much it is. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, Tempest Brolly. The hide, I couldn't get on with it. Um, it's a sort of like a young man's bivvy. I mean, fuck me, the front's down here somewhere. Um, you sit on your bed chair, I mean, my bed chair ain't exactly high, and I ain't exactly tall. But you sit on your bed chair, and all you can see is nylon, you sort of fucking sit in there, sort of like this. Um, Half a dozen times in and out of the hide and my back's fucking just locked up. Um, so yeah, if you're thinking about getting a hide, make sure you're young and nimble. Um, for the old boys, not really the best fucking effort that. But the Tempest Brolly, overall, as I say, I like it. Quality bit of kit. Um, and there it is really. I ain't gonna bang on anymore. That's about me done. Um, I'm gonna have to stop shouting my mouth off. Got about an hour or so before it gets dark. Stop shouting my mouth off. Perhaps I'll get the evening nibble. You never know. Anyway, there's me. I'm going to tidy all this crap up and, um, and wrap it off there. So best of luck if you're out. And um, no doubt, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.